Hey, how's it going? I'm going to show you how to make a quick low poly smoke particle system. So let's get into that. So I'm going to press shift A and get a plane. So that'll be our emitter. So that's where the particles come out of. So now we need the a, a object to reference for the particles. So I'm just going to get one of these. So if you select the plane, go over to particle, particle properties, a new one of them. You can name it up there or down here. So you want emitter. So with, with just this normal, if you press play, you see these balls will appear and they'll fall downwards. So you got these balls going downwards. So we want, we want to use this little low, low poly sphere. So you want to go down to render. Instead of halo, you want object. Then instance object. You want to get your ball. You can also just select it on here. So if you press play again, you should see your object uh, being emitted from the from the plane. As you can tell, it's going the wrong way. So if you go to gravity, it's set to one. We've just set that to negative one. It'll do the opposite. So you press play. So now it goes upwards. Wow, 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 wow. All right, so I normally use object rotation, which means the balls will be the same rotation as this. So if you rotate this, it'll rotate that. It's kind of hard to see when it's a, a sphere, but if it's like an actual complex shape, you'd be able to tell. So if object scale is ticked, that means if you scale up your object over here, your balls will also scale up like that. But under render, where it's a scale, you can also just adjust that instead of having one giant ball. Scale randomness is really good. Cause that, that's what really adds all the, the, the variation to it. So that's already looking pretty good. At the top, it cuts off pretty harsh. So to change that, you would go to lifetime randomness. So if you, if you go all the way with that, um, it'll have different cutoff points uh, for the lifetime. So some balls will like die early and some will die up here. Um, so I try to, I keep mine like 0 0.6. I think that. That looks good. An under number. So instead of 1,000, yeah, so you went to 6,000, you'd have a lot more objects being made. So my animation is playing now. And then at 200, it stops. So that's because uh, frame start is 1 and end is 200. So, you know, if you have, if you want the, the simulation to go on for 1,000 frames, you'd set the end to 1000, like that. Yeah, and then. So now I'll just keep playing until the 1000. Uh, so yeah, lifetime, that's how long they last for. So 50 would be like, probably about 50 frames, I guess. And lifetime randomness will obviously affect it as well. Um. So 50, that means like, So mine seemed to die out like around here. Um, but if you know if you if you had a lot more to that then you play. Yeah, you know, since they have a longer lifetime, uh, they'll just keep going, yeah. Yeah, so now you've got a really long one. I'm not even sure where that ends. High up. So you know, if you want a really long one, turn your lifetime up. Distribution. I think jit is good. Random's all right, I guess. I think I like J a bit more. Okay, so if, if you want your particles to speed up, you can just go to velocity and then just normal. So you see, like you made that twenty instead of one. You see, then you've got a lot. You got you got a, a really fast particle system there. Look at the speed. Okay, so as you can see, our, our smoke just goes just upwards just from the, from the square. Uh, but if you use randomize, 
a bit. Um, for so far so you randomize. Um, it'll make it a bit more wild. You know, a bit more all over the place. So obviously that that has its uses, you know. If you wanted a less controlled one. You know, like absolute absolute madness. Okay, so if we look if we enter the particle system now, um, you'll you'll see the emitter. Uh, you'll see the plane that has the particle system on it. So we don't want that. I scroll down to render and it says show emitter. So if you untick that, uh, yeah. So it should get rid of the plane that was producing the particles. Um, so right now that worked perfectly for me. But just before I coded this, it didn't. Because I was just testing it. Um, so if yours doesn't go away for some reason, if you go over to object properties and you go to instancing you can turn you can turn the render off and I found that works as well that helped that helped me sort it out so if I select my original ball and add a material to it and I just turn this emission up like that and then play you see, it, it it looks like this. It, I, I think it looks pretty good uh, with an emission on it. That, so that's how I make quick low poly smoke. I hope you found this video helpful. If you would like to see what else I've been working on, check out my main channel where I'm making my own video game. We got some devlogs up there. They're pretty good. Check them out. And yeah, thanks for watching this video.